Don't kill it, really. We're going to show you the basic guacamole making process. It's pretty simple. I got three medium hot avocados. Now, when you go and buy avocados, if you want to know if it's right, you see the stem? You just press in, and if it dents in and breaks the skin that easy with light pressure, it's right. Now, you can peel the stem off. If it's green underneath, it's right. If it's brown, it's overripe. If it's pale, then it's not right. Now, we have lime. About four tablespoons or a quarter cup of minced onion. And we're going to do the same with tomato, but make sure you de seed and get all the water out of your tomatoes. If ideal, you should use plum or aroma type tomatoes, but you can use any tomato. But you know, same thing, you want a quarter cup of that, you know, want a lime. And you don't have to add garlic or cilantro or peppers. You can add any of that. I use one clove of garlic. Okay, now I've got my onion, tomato, and one clove of garlic, finely minced. Now, some, most people will put it in just like that, but the real secret is your salt that you're going to add. It's about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt or a big pinch or two. Then you can either use a quarter, mortar and pestle. Or if you don't have one, you just take the side of your knife and put the salt on it. And you just start grinding it on your cutting board like this with the side of your knife. The object is you want it more than finely diced. You want it to basically melt and meld together and start marrying the flavors before you mix it in with the avocado. Alright, back for about five minutes, two, three minutes. You see it's getting melded together into a nice paste. Next we're gonna do the avocados. I just take them, take my knife. Run it around like that. And the seed looks like that with a knife. This one is just fixing to become overripe. But I take it and I score it lines through it like this. Then across to make chunks. And you take a bowl and a spoon. You just scoop them all out and leave them in loose chunks. We have all the avocado chunked up. And we're going to take our paste with our vegetables and or whatever we put in there. We've already got the salt in the paste, so you just start mixing it, folding it together. Don't try to smash it yet. Get it mixed. You don't want to break the chunks down. You want to get it all mixed up. And we're going to squeeze the juice from one lime into it. See, if you don't smash it, the lime can get through all the chunks and the cracks and get everywhere and distribute it evenly. Now you start mashing it. And there you go. Welcome over. Easy as that.